Welcome back to our AFL Explained series. In this playlist, we break down key facets of the game, helping you transition from the casual footy fan to the resident expert of your friends or office. In this video, we break down the roles and objectives of pressure forwards. The most common kind of pressure forward is the small tackling forward. Their role is to apply pressure to the ball carrier. Rolling up to tackle, affect a kick, or even close down an opponent in an attempt to create a turnover. Even if they don't get the ball back themselves, they create a situation that makes it easier for teammates down the ground to intercept the ball. As the longer the ball is locked inside 50, the more time their teammates have to set up their zone. There are a number of goals teams must consider when they allocate forward roles. As important as pressure is, to win a game of football, you must kick goals. Different teams achieve this balance in different ways. For example, the 2017 Tigers, who became renowned for their forward pressure throughout 2017, adopt a holistic approach. No single small forward was instructed to purely just try and kick goals. Instead, their three main smalls that year, Dan Butler, Jason Castagna and Daniel Rioli, focused on applying relentless pressure to opposition defences, and at the end of the season, they ranked third, fourth and fifth in Richmond's goal kicking that year, scoring 30, 26 and 25 goals, the majority of which came from turnovers. At Richmond, it doesn't matter who's kicking the goals at the end of the day, so long as pressure is up and the smalls get a handy tally between them. To contrast this, last year Brisbane's main small forwards were Charlie Cameron, Lincoln McCarthy and Cam Rayner. Cameron ranked first at the Lions with 57 goals, while McCarthy and Rayner ranked much lower, equal fifth with 20. While there's no doubt Cameron is adept at applying pressure, it's clear that his role is to find the big sticks. For McCarthy and Rayner, so long as pressure's high, Chris Fagan is content so long as they pop up on the score sheet when they're needed. But aside from which players simply manage to tackle defenders, what other stats indicate forward pressure? Champion data measures four types of pressure players can apply without even laying a tackle and these form the KPIs for pressure forwards. Corelling is defined as a player guarding space, so an opponent is limited with their run or movement. Chasing is closing space between you and an opponent in front of you. Closing is the same as chasing, but from the front or side of the ball carrier. And physical pressure is when you get a hand to a player while they are disposing of the ball, but this doesn't have to be a tackle. Other measures of success include turnovers created by forwards and points from turnovers created. The Tigers' forward pressure may have been the story of 2017, but both stats were topped by Anthony McDonald Tip and Woody that year, who dominated the league's scores from turnovers, with Rioli and Castagna rounding out the top five on both accounts. That these stats are dominated by small forwards highlights the expectations placed on these players in the modern game as opposed to small forwards gone by, like Peter Dacos or Stephen Milne, whose focus was squarely on goal. It is worth noting though that Eddie Betts, a small forward known more for his miraculous goals than his tackling pressure, recorded his highest goal tally in the same year as his highest tackling numbers. These approaches to forward pressure have all been in the interest of team defence, where a group of players combat the opposition's attack in a holistic manner. However, this is not the only way to build pressure. Albeit less commonly, forwards are sometimes used more specifically to target a sole opposition defender and limit their impact on the game. For example, Jason Johannesson, who's known to be an important part of the Bulldogs' link-up play and rebound off half-back, was notably tagged by several different teams during 2017, following his Norm Smith winning grand final performance the year prior. On occasion, Mid-sized and taller forwards will also sacrifice their own marking games and focus on providing an aerial contest against intercept players. So if you're watching a game of footy and your team just can't get a clean run out of defence, or it feels like they can't stop turning the ball over, the pressure being applied at the point of disposal, or your best backman being tagged, could be some of the key reasons why. If you'd like an area of AFL Explained, Please leave your requests in the comments below.